All right, what up guys? So um, just kind of been experimenting with stuff in here in the backyard training lab. And uh, I was kind of trying to come up with a system or a couple progressions in which put more emphasis on glove side. And I talk a lot about counterbalance and the usage of uh, heavy plyo balls in the glove when we're throwing and, and so on and so forth. And then I was kind of throwing one day and I had my dumbbells for my arm care series out here and I picked one up and I was like, oh, I wonder, you know, if that would provide some pretty good feedback. So when we're talking about just putting more attention to the glove arm and, you know, establishing pretty efficient direction with the glove side when we're throwing and usually, you know, kind of solving the inefficient breakdown of like a glove side fly out, I, again, just kind of was playing around. I don't know how this is gonna be for feedback, but it's just another one of those options that we could have to find that sweet spot for you. Um, but basically, if you're struggling with glove side fly out, you're probably not knowing that you're doing it. It's just a motor control pattern of a, a lazy, lazy glove side. So I've found that if we can put, you know, something overloaded, a uh, heavy object in the glove or the hand when we're throwing, it puts a lot more awareness to that strong front side um, and then that establishing of the direction. I'm really big on direction. So again, uh, playing around here, I got a three pound dumbbell. I'm gonna throw a heavy plyo ball. So this is a two pound, 32 ounce plyo ball. Um, big fan of, of any time that we're tr checking our arm path progressions. I like to use overload just to kind of get more in sync and get our hands a little bit more connected to the center of our mass. So uh, you can obviously do a, a, any, any sort of variation with this, but the, the thing that I found is just preset rocker. Again, just kind of like a 90-90 variation where you're establishing a 90-90 connection here. Front foot's already down, 90 with the glove side here. And then we're just going to equal opposite match this glove side's gonna come down to that hip and we're gonna throw and we're gonna get late launch here. So again, my feedback, when I put a heavier object in my glove side, I get a lot more mental awareness to being strong, sturdy. You want a relaxed front side, but for now we're gonna try to overemphasize the breakdown, which is glove side fly out, right? When we get into this pattern here. So to overemphasize it, we get really connected, hold, hold force, hold, hold direction, and then throw. So it's gonna look like this. We're pulling down to that scap, 90 degree angles from our forearm to our bicep. Boom. And getting and getting late launch, right? It's gonna look like this from the side. Boom. <laughs> I didn't hold my net down. But yeah, that's, uh, that's another progression that you can do with your plyos. Or even if you're throwing like a baseball, I suppose. I don't see what's the difference, but 